मिशीन यूसिंग ट्रिप्लेट फॉर स्टेटमेंट a is equal to minus b star c plus d whose intermediate code in three address form okay th this is the uh, program this program i want to write a machine code the machine code is the assembly level language program you know how to write assembly level language program hello yes ma'am Yeah, because I explained in the beginning. Hello. Ah, uh, Chandan. Hello. The beginning of your class, uh, compiler design. The phases of compiler explain. No, if you have the line, the standby lexical analysis, syntax analysis for all, then I am writing for which one? Intermediate code generation. Correct. In that intermediate code, I told there are different forms, but we are using the three address code generation. What is three address code generation? In that, we are using this operands with three operands with two operators. Somebody is that my echo is meeting. then you see this is my expression this expression first converted into intermediate operation the intermediate code generation i am using three address code the three address code says in that paper only he written three address code ki t1 is the temporary variable that will be computed answer is minus b minus b is unary operator the minus b will be assigned to t1 the next is i am computing with c plus d the c plus d this addition operation will be stored it in another variable is t2 then the what are the computed with the resultant t1 and t2 those two things will multiply by and stored in the temporary variable t3 the next is i am doing the final answer is t3 the t3 will be assigned to the variable is what a got it Yeah, this is the yes. question. Question is given. For this question, I want to generate a machine code. The machine code is like this. See, the move operation with the register. The content of T one, the content of minus B will be stored into one more register. I'm load C and load D. I'm add add with the operation. I add as instruction and store it in the T two. Okay, like that. I want to write a machine code instruction. Okay, this is my final output is machine code like this. Okay, before machine code, what we write the program is I am generating my input file. Ah, uh, I have to write input file like this. I have to pass the input file. The input file contains there is an how many arguments? Two arguments with what? One operator. One is what? The resultant. Correct? Okay. See, I am storing in the format of the first one is always says the result one. The first one is result one. The second one is parameter one, or it called as an argument one. The second one says the operator. Third one field source. The second argument. Like that, whatever the instruction is given. This is the three address code instruction. T one is equal to minus b. T one is the resultant. Equal is an operator. Minus b is the first argument. For the first instruction, there is no second argument. For that, I am writing a question mark. Are you visible for the question mark? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Got got it. The first line explanation. E one is the resultant. Yes, ma'am. Minus b is the first argument. Oh. The equal is an operator. The question mark is what? The second argument. The first instruction there is no second argument. Then the same way the second line you can take it. What is the second line? T two is equal to c plus d. And these two, this line, I am passing as an input in the form of T two C. T two is a resultant. C is a first argument. The plus is a 
operator in that and D is a second argument. The same thing third line else also I am rewritten as T3 is equal to T1 star T2. Then I am passing T3, T1 star T2. Then finally I am move on to the last line. The last line is A is equal to T3. A is in resultant answer. When A is is then T3 is your the first argument. The second the operator is equal. The, the second argument there is no because of that I am declaring as a question mark. Then this is your input file you have to create manually and you have to first over it in one, one text file. Then I am giving a name as file input.txt file. My file contains this input file. When you compare your program cc because I am writing the program in C language cc file.c. Now I have compiled a dot out I am giving the input as what input file. What is the input file? File input.txt. After compiling output is stored it in another file. The another file I gave it is file output.txt. This code will be generated automatically. Okay, this is the machine level language program. Got it? Okay, for to generate this, this to, to see it, what, what will be generated? To see the first line. T1 minus B is equal to question mark. That meaning is T1 is equal to minus B. The minus B is in variable. I am loading this, is storing the minus B into what? Register. You can take any register. I take only the R0. There are R0 to R12, the general purpose register. You can mention anything or you can store any register also. No problem in that. The minus B stored in one register. Who is the minus B content of minus B stored to R0. Then finally, where to write? T1 is equal to minus B I required. For that, move R0 is equal to T1. I am doing these two line of instruction for the first line. T1 minus B is equal to question mark. The same way. Go to the second one. T2 C plus D. What is the operation here? What is the operation here? Addition. addition. Correct. Huh? Addition operation. Before doing addition, what do you want? First, I want to take C. Correct. Huh? Move C into what? R naught. Yes. Move C into R naught. Then add with content of R naught with what? D. See, I am I'm using instruction what? Add. Because of plus. If it is plus is there. I am using instruction add. The add the value of R naught with content of D. Where to store final answer? Final answer where can I store? T T2. T2. Then what to write? T2. The content of R naught will be stored to where? T2. Correct? These three lines for with respect to the, the line, second line. T2, C plus D. Got it? Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, the same thing I am doing the next line. What is the next line? T3, T1 star, T2. Correct? Huh? Content of T1 is moved on to R. Then I am using which are, which are instruction for star? Multiply. Yes, multiply. multiplication instruction I am doing. Then T2 will be multiplied with content of R0. Then finally store into where? R0 into T3. Correct? Yes. T3 into R0. Yes. Then again I am doing the last instruction. What is the last instruction? A T3 is equal to question mark. Finally answer will be stored to what? A to T3. Correct? Huh? I am doing the last instruction. Yes. yes. Content of whether you are doing first line. No. The same thing I am doing last line also. Any doubt? No, no ma'am. Yeah. Now, now move on to program. This is a very simplest program. Just be written printf statement. Okay. There is no logic behind is this. How to convert your the line of address addressing mode into just making language code. Okay. okay. As per simple you did. See, I am using as include stdh then as include stdlib.h for a processor. And I am taking operator array. OP is an operator array. Argument 1 argument to then result got it then main start i am using two file pointer one for the input file the second for the output file fp1 is equal to f open input dot text in which mode i am opening read mode because i am providing the input any doubt okay f open 
output dot text in write mode why in write mode because i want to write the the, the machine language into that file because of that i am opening in which mode write mode and okay, now while not equal to file end of f open if it is the file is not end then what are the action i want to do it correct f scan f i am i am to the input i am ready f scan f file pointer f1 the f1 pointing to the input file you are only providing the input file from there you are taking percentages 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 in which format i am storing the first is result second one is argument one the second one next is operator the last one is what argument two because i am passing input is like that only no result argument one operator the last one is argument two in the same format i am scan the input file correct now if string compare if it is operator is equal to plus equals equal zero is what this string compare i am using if it is equal to plus yes if it is true correct yes ma'am yeah yes, ma then i am printing f print f why i am taking f print f i want to write into which file file pi output dot text output. file i am pointing the which pointer f2 f2 is the second pointer for the second file i am writing instruction see the instruction move or not comma percentage yes what is percentage is argument 1 argument 1 from the input file what is the argument 1 in the input file is minus b minus b the first one is result the second one is argument 1 then i i am get this this first line is getting correct huh? the same thing if it is after argument 1 what are the next instruction f print f f p to comma add the content of first one be add with what content of the second argument for that add or not comma percentage yes what is percentage yes argument 2 finally you want argument 2 got it yes ma'am yes yeah. ma okay okay the last line is f print f f p to is a pointer the finally i want to get result alwa move percentage yes what are the percentage is the result the content of the result we move from a where where is stored or not to the result the result is in variable for that move percentage is comma or not this result if this 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 if condition is working only when only when Operator is the operator is yes. addition plus got it. Operator is an addition. These three lines will be executed. If the operator is star, correct. If operator is star, the same thing. But what is the instruction I want to change? M U L instead of add, I am changing to what? Multiply. Multiply. Ah, that's the same line. See, I have print f f p two. move a percentage is argument 1 the content of argument will be multiply with this argument to the finally result is stored into that variable got it yes ma'am yes okay yes, ma next if condition for subtract if it is your uh, this question have minus actually my question is there is no minus if it is there is no division also just i am writing because in exam na you can give any instruction format correct huh? this line if it can for a y one this line can be anything if you pass it instead of plus we given minus correct huh? for that purpose i am taking for the minus condition also subtract instead of addition multiplication i just only change the sub sub for the subtraction any doubt no ma'am now the same thing i am no, taking for division also is there division in my question is there division operation no i have only plus i have only star simply i am taking division also this is also working same thing for addition and multiplication i am changing that condition what d i v correct any doubt yes ma'am 
Okay. Now, if it is e, three line instructions, okay. If A is equal to B plus C, this condition is working. Now, only A is equal to B. Correct? I want to store how it is like this. T1 is equal to minus B. There is no operator here. Correct? First line and third line. Is there any operator? No. No. Only the contained T3 will be stored to A. The minus B is stored to what? A1. There is no operator. There is no addition, division, multiplication or anything. Correct? Then how to do it? If string compare, operator is equal to equal. If it is true, what are the things you have to do? F print F. Open the file F print into. Then move content of argument 1 will be stored into what? R naught. Move R naught comma percentage yes. Correct? Now next line R naught will be moved on to where? The result. Move percentage yes comma result. Then what is the result? The result is that we are variable. That is, then what will move on to move percentages result. If these three lines will be working for the first instruction and last instruction. Any doubt? No, ma'am. Any doubt? Okay, this no, is very no. simple. Now, I done all type of operator. I am closing F close F3 1 and F close F3 2. Okay, now. Then, once you type this program, you have to compile, then you have to provide your input file. While giving input file, you have to give single space between all this operand. Okay. Single space. If you give extra space also, it will take a consider as what? Second operand. Only the single space you give one and created this text file. Give as a input file for that one. Then compile. And this output will be generated. Okay, this is for your intermediate code generation. For this, I am generating missing code by using of triplets. The triplets I am using the 1, 2, 3. This is another form of this. Okay, when I start module 5, I will explain what is triplets, what is quadruples, then how to write for in detail about different type of expression. In exam, you will get this expression. Then you should be convert like this. When come to module 5, I explain. But as of now, your lab program, this much is enough. Any doubt for execution of this program for the next week? No, ma'am. Any no. doubt? Can you no, execute next week this program? I think all of you execute yes, OS yes, for the seventh one. Okay, now. Next, the last program for my side, compile like this one. You can execute this program for the next week. Anyhow, this week also you don't have a college for your still. Huh? Can execute this program. Any doubt mm -hmm. can free to call us. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay ma'am. Any doubt? Anybody? Then then okay now. Just I will put this recorded yes, video to your lab batches. Okay, it will okay with all the students can understand about this explanation. Yes, yes. Yes, huh? ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. Welcome.